a very good uh, morning to you guys today we are going to look at punctuation punctuation okay so punctuation uh, will help you when writing your english okay you should know where to place uh, things like commas question marks full stops etc all right so i'll start with a capital letter capital letter now the question is when do we use a capital letter so a capital letter can be used at the beginning of a sentence at the beginning of every sentence okay you are writing a sentence my name is uh tinashe bonga so my or kutangana m capital letter m for my okay so when you're starting a sentence you you always use a capital letter now if you put a full stop and you want to start another sentence you also start with a capital letter as well was it's still the beginning of a sentence all right then when you are writing names of people names of of people you said my name is Tinashe Bonga so capital letter T for Tinashe and capital letter B for Bonga okay you should also uh, use capital letters when writing our names and the name of uh, people the names of places names of places okay uh, our wedding uh, was held uh, at the hall along Samora Mashaw Avenue okay so the name of the wall uh, or the name of of the venue okay you also use a capital letter when writing the name of a venue you can write uh Zesa technologies for example maybe that's when you were your heading was was held so capital letter z for for Zesa okay Zesa technologies things like that so there are so many uh, cases where uh, by the steps are used. So some you actually find out as you'll be reading. All right. We now move to full stops. Now, when do we use a full stop? Number one, end of a sentence end of a sentence we use a full stop you're concluding a sentence my name is Tinashe Bonga the last a for Bonga is followed by a full stop okay end of a sentence you you want to to join sentences or clauses you use you use a, a full stop okay you want to start another sentence a new sentence you use a full stop okay so an example will be my name is Sakuzwa I live in Kwekwe. So if you write my name is Sakuzwa, I live in Kwekwe. It doesn't make sense. Okay? 
So where you I wrote my name is Takuzwa. It should be like my name is Takuzwa. Who stop? I live in Kwekwe. Another full stop. All right. So uh, this is uh, how you use a full stop. All right. We move on to the exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. All right. The exclamation mark. So this changes the tone of a sentence, adding emphasis and suggesting that something is shouted or not. Okay. So the first thing is they change the tone of a sentence change the tone of a sentence okay another thing adding emphasis adding Emphasis number three suggesting whether. The speaker shouted or not. Okay. So by saying uh, change the tone of a sentence, I'm sure you've come across uh, my situations whereby you might not get exactly what he was trying to say because the correct punctuation. Uh, texting to someone that uh, I really miss you without uh, a, a, an exclamation mark and texting whereby you put a question mark are two different scenarios. Putting a question mark, you are trying an exclamation mark, sorry. You are trying to put emphasis that you really miss someone. But if you don't uh, put an exclamation mark, just a mere saying that you, you miss someone. Okay? So that's uh, uh, what the exclamation mark does. A time someone will shout, help, help, of which if you just write help, help, it's more like you are telling someone gently that you need help. But if you say, please help, and you put maybe three exclamation, it means you really need agent help. Okay? So you should take note when these are used. All right? Uh, let's look at an example. If someone write like wait he said full stop and someone will write wait exclamation so in the first case, uh, it's just a wait. It's more like you are talking to someone. 
a week beside you, wait, maybe you're going somewhere or something. And then the second case, wait. Okay, that's what it means. Wait. Meaning to say uh, you are emphasizing someone that he should or she should not go, she should wait. So it's more like you're shouting that please wait for me. Okay. We move to question marks. Question marks. Okay. This is an inter so we are saying an interrogative st sentence is one that asks a question. And interrogative sentence is one that asks a question. Okay, that's an interrogative uh, sentence. So that type of statement normally is represented by a question mark. Okay? Or it's indicated by a question mark. But this is an interrogative sentence. For example, a sentence like where do you live? Okay? It will end with a question mark. Okay? So this is an example of an interrogative sentence. A sentence uh, which asks a question. Okay? Last but not least, we need to look at a comma. Now, these ones are used to separate words in a list. Used to separate words in a list or clauses in a sentence. This is when we use we use a, a, a comma. Uh, let's say you say I have five oranges three bananas two apples and nine cucumbers. Okay. So we are using a comma here to separate uh, fruits. Okay. So that's like I said, they are used to separate words in a list. So we have oranges, we have bananas, apples, and cucumbers. So if you're separating words in a list, note that the last uh, word is not separated by a comma. Okay? The last word is always accompanied by an end. All right? Let us uh, look at the separation of clauses. Okay. Now, um, 
I can write something like Jones runs the bakery. Jones runs the bakery. Which is on Main Street. Justo. Jones runs the bakery, which is on Main Street. So the sentence uh, Jones runs the bakery is one clause. The other one is which is on the Main Street. So a comma can also be used to join clauses. Another one, Sam Haskins, Sam Haskins, comma, who broke his leg in a car, who broke his leg, In a car accidentally comma still managed to pass all his exams. Still managed to pass all his exams. Okay, so these uh, commas are joining all the clauses in this uh, sentence. Same asking, comma who broke his leg in a car accidentally, that's another clause, comma, still managed to pass all his exams. Okay? So, uh, this marks the end of the lecture for today. We will continue with more punctuation in the next tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know at 0784 Zero zero two, zero zero two, and also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and please just put a like. Goodbye.